Yo, this is your boy Vincent Ellis White. I just want to share what's on my heart. Uh, I was in church yesterday, man, and um, it felt so good in church yesterday. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Um, I was shedding some serious tears, and um, I don't feel like I shed tears like that in a while. Probably not since um, I found out my grandma was in the hospital, you know, possibly facing death. And um, man, I just couldn't control the tears. And what it, and, but the thing is, it was tears of joy, um, you know, which is a, a going against what the last tears were. But it was just, I was just thinking about how amazing God is. Man, like it, it just had me shedding serious tears uncontrollably. Um, I think the song was like, you're so amazing or something like that. Um, and it's just that part when they're like, you've been so good to me. It's just simple words, but it's just the emotion that come with it. And just thinking about that, Lord, you've been so good to me. You are amazing. Like, I'm just, I just was thinking, I was like, man, I have been through so much. My family's been through so much. Um, my, my friends, my people been through so much. And my son was in the back in children's church. And I started thinking about him. And then I just got filled again with emotion. Um, thinking about one particular time that I shared with y'all, um, he had a a pain in his uh, testicle area. And he came to me one day and he said, Daddy, it's hurting down there. So I went down there and checked it and one was like enlarged. And um, I didn't panic because I saw he had panic written all over his face. So I remained calm like I try to do, you know, as a father and as a person. And uh Got him to the hospital, um, you know, and, and when I got there, the beauty of it, and this is about God, it's a testimony. The beauty of it is that me and his mom wasn't even cool at the moment, but we had to put that to the side because little man was 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 hurting. So um, everybody came to the hospital and we get to the hospital and, and they're like, we're gonna take a um, ultrasound. So little man getting scared. His mom trying to talk to him. It ain't working. And he crying. He panicking. I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and step in here. And I'm praying along the way. I'm nervous as hell too. But he ain't going to know it. So I walk over to him and I get right in his ear. And I'm whispering to him. I'm telling him everything going to be all right. I'm telling him about God and God seeing him through. I'm praying with him. Then I get in his face. And I'm like, listen, we ain't going to be scared to go in this thing. I know it's uncertainty here, but we're not afraid. I'm trying to tell you, we got this, okay? And he finally calmed down. So when little man calmed down, ultrasound came. And when they came back, the doctors was rushing. They was like, we seen um, this and this and this. I can't remember the, the uh, proper terminology for it. But basically they said, we got to get him to MCV right away because this thing is so serious, we can't even wait on it. Um, he might lose, you know, well, I remember this part. They say he might lose his, his testicles. And me, as a guy, I'm hearing that my son might lose his testicles. And I'm like, testicles? What? No, nah, not, not my little man. Like, that junk killed me. His mom was breaking down people breaking down and I'm breaking down on the inside but I'm like you know what I'm telling myself like yo Vince be strong just just be strong like I'm breaking down but I had to be strong so we had to tell little man he got to get rushed to MCV he get rushed to MCV I'm in the ambulance with him riding talking to him speaking positivity speaking prayer um, letting him know that this is a time where you feel faith get tested, but you're gonna get through. In my heart, I'm not even knowing what's up. Like, we might get there and he lose something. You know what I'm saying? How amazing God is and why this is a beautiful testimony is that they saw something clearly in the ultrasound at the other hospital. And that made them say, we gotta rush him to MCV. We get to MCV, he get into surgery. Me and his mom, everybody waiting. We nervous. And, um, we sitting there and it's like, man, this was at night. So by the time we got out of surgery, it's like three, four in the morning. We've been there all night. First of all, first of all, I want to remind you, 
me and Mon Dukes, his Mon Dukes ain't even getting along. But that day, we both sitting there, like, praying, just, you know, coming together. So that's God. Trust me, that's God. So <laughs> then the doctor come out, and he said, the surgery over. So I'm listening, trying to hear if he's going to say, my son down to one, or if he still got two. You know what I'm saying? So he said, the craziest thing happened, y'all, because I got the ultrasound. I saw what was up, and I saw that he had to get some things done down there in that area. He said, but when I get there and it's time to operate, I don't see nothing wrong down there. I swear, I swear, I swear he said that. So me and Jordan, my son Jordan's mom, we stand up. We like, what are you talking about? We both saw the ultrasound. He like, I'm telling y'all, listen, it was nothing there. So I'm like, if it's nothing there, how you have surgery? So he was like, well, it was just some extra fluid that was there and we removed the fluid. But that was it. But he was like, the, the actual issue that had him rushed here, that we saw clearly, he's like, when I got there, the time to do surgery, it was no longer there. Whatever that thing was we saw, it was gone. And he was like, medically, I was just baffled. And man, me and my son's mom and our people prayed, and we just jumped up, and we praised the Lord just for that miracle and that, and that testimony that happened. But you know why I ended up being in tears at that moment? Thank you, Lord. Why? Why I was in tears at that moment is because I whispered in Jordan's ear. I said, son, my prayer is that the Lord intervened and he baffled these doctors. He baffled their minds. I said, I said, I, I pray that the Lord come in there and baffle their minds to the point where they don't even know what's going on. Like, I, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't know if it was prophetic or what, but I whispered that in my son's ear. And we get there four hours later, and the doctor came back and said he was baffled. You don't think my God real? The doctor said his mind was baffled. He can be smart and intelligent, and he can go by the books all day. But that man got baffled by my God. You can't tell me my God not real. My son came out with a small little incision, came out chilling. You understand what I'm saying? I went in church that Sunday and gave a powerful testimony. I was standing up there crying like I'm doing right now because I don't play with my son. And definitely can't have nothing like that happening where he losing them important parts at, at what, eight years old? When he was eight? But my God, my God, my God, my God, always come through in the clutch. You just keep your faith, beloveds. Parents, take care of your family. Take care of your sons, your daughters. Just, just keep the faith. Stay strong for them. Put all your faith and your trust in God, and God going to see you through. That's word. That's word to Vinnie Blanco. God going to see you through. I don't even care if I'm shedding tears on this testimony because when you a real man, you ain't worry about what other people think. I don't worry about what none of y'all think. I'm here to share a testimony of my faith and of my God with hopes that this bless you. I'm so thankful to God for saving my son. And I love it because when anybody questioning who he is and what he does, God is still in the blessing business, still in the miracle working business. My God specializes. And on that day, when my son was having that testicular pain, my God specialized in his situation and removed it. Let me tell you how fast he removed it. The doctor at one hospital saw an ultrasound clear as day. We rode in the ambulance. We get down to MCV. Time to do surgery. It ain't there no more. What? From one hospital, Chippenham, to MCV. Just that fast, the Lord removed my son's issue and pain. You can't tell me my God ain't great. It's your boy Vincent Ellis White. Testimony on a Monday for y'all. Let this bless you. Share it if need be. God got you. It's your boy Vincent Ellis White. One love.